Pole vault is a huge mental sport, and if your mind's not in it, your body won't do it. My name is Sarah Tackett, and I'm a pole vaulter on the Texas Tech track and field team. I started pole vault back in seventh grade. It was kind of a transition from competitive gymnastics I had done for 10 years, and I kind of wanted to hang up that and kind of dive more into school sports. And my coaches were like, you know what? You should do pole vault. You did gymnastics. That'll, that'll be good. I ended up solely focusing on track towards the end of high school. I was recruited from Tech and one other school, but I immediately fell in love with Tech. There was just something about this atmosphere, the family atmosphere that you feel here that you kind of just don't feel anywhere else. So we're heading to the Human Sciences Building for my HDFS class. I only have one class today, and it's called Understanding Child and Adolescent Behavior. This is the last semester before I graduate and I am only taking three classes. I am going to pursue my doctorate of occupational therapy here at the Texas Tech Health Science Center, so I'll be in Lubbock for three more years. What a shocker. <laughs> but I am honestly so excited. This was my dream school. I know I'm, again, staying in Lubbock, but I love it here. It's my home. I have family here. I have friends here. It's just I can't imagine going anywhere else. So I just finished up my HGFS class and now we're heading to the cache to get a bite to eat before we head to practice. So let's go. To think of how much I've changed in the past four years from senior year in high school to senior year now, it's incredible and I didn't really expect how much was gonna change, you know, going through these four years and how much I was gonna grow, not only as an athlete and a pole vaulter, but as a person. Before my season started, I had a, um, well, I was kind of on a high of my athletic performance. And I was coming into the season super excited, you know, I was doing things in my technique that I hadn't done before and I was really excited heading into my senior season and it was actually shortly after I heard about getting into occupational therapy school that actually a week later that I was like diagnosed with skin cancer. So like they found a, um, they call it malignant melanoma, it was found in my leg and so Right before indoor season started, the four weeks prior to that, I had gotten surgery for that. So I was out for a whole month and had one week to prepare, you know, heading into indoor season. And that was a little, you know, difficult coming off of a surgery and not really able to do anything. I didn't want to have it define the rest of my year. It is a part of my story and a part of this year that has made it the way it has. I no longer have um, cancer and once I came back, you know, I was gonna leave that in the past. I wasn't gonna let that affect the rest of the year. And so I think mentally, I kind of just geared my whole mind towards competing and the future, not so much on like what had happened in the past. And I think that's what's helped me the most get to, you know, now where I am today. A big goal for me is to really get that next bar to solidify my spot for the regional meet. And so I'm kind of sitting at a spot that could make it, could not make it, and I want to hit that next bar to solidify my spot to make it in the top 48, to make it to West Regional. I know that the whole team is super excited. We're all super pumped. We've been working so hard this entire season, this entire year, to really make it to this point. We have a pretty long season. It genuinely is more than just a team. It's a family here, and we all support each other and want each other to be the best we can be, not only on the track, but outside of the track. It's time to really put all that work 
towards something that is going to really mean something and really make a difference, you know, with our team and with people coming on in the years after us, you know. Now's the time to really like show out and show everyone what we can do.